What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today we have iOS 17.1 to everyone, and in this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of iOS 17.1. Let's go. So the first thing that we should look at is the build number. If we were to go into settings, general, and then about, our build number here is 21B74. Now what is new here inside of iOS 17.1? We have quite a bit to talk about, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing has to do with airdrop. So let's say that you and your friend want to airdrop this very funny photo right here, and you just want to airdrop it, but immediately you have to go. But now you can just press the share button, press airdrop, start airdropping, and as you are going, it will just continue. There's no range for airdrop anymore. It will just keep going, and yeah. However, if we were to go into general and then down into airdrop, you will be able to turn off if you will be able to turn it off for cellular data. So you won't be able to turn it off for Wi-Fi. I guess nobody would really want to do that. If you want to turn off AirDrop in general, you just turn it off. But you can now AirDrop stuff in Wi-Fi and in cellular data as well. So yeah, you can do that now. So the next thing is something to do with the notifications of ringtones. So with the text tones, I've actually thought that they were pretty quiet. So this is what they sound like now. And this is what the old one sounds like. You can hear that they are quite a bit louder now and they're actually hearable. Whereas before they were not very hearable, which was bit my biggest complaint about the new text tones was that they were pretty quiet. But now if I were to choose one, they are now a lot louder now, which is a good thing. The next thing has to do with the flashlight. So if I were to turn on the flashlight right here, you're gonna see in our dynamic island, we now have this. Previously, this was exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro only. For some reason, it was not on the 14 Pro or normal 15s, but it's now on those devices. And if you were to tap and hold right here, not really pointless because you tap and hold and do that. However, to be honest, I'd rather just go to the control center, turn it on, turn it off and whatever, or just go to the lock screen and then uh, press and hold like that. Still pretty cool nonetheless. Now for the iPhone 15 and 14 Pro, if you were to go into settings right here, and then go into standby. Regardless of what device you're on, you're gonna see this brand new section right here that says display. Going into here, there's a brand new section right here, as I said before, and you're able to turn the display off automatically after 20 seconds or never. So before you cannot set it to never, it still used AI to detect when you're not using it, which I thought was annoying, but it might encourage me to use standby a little more often now, now that we have this never option, since I kind of want to use my sleepy time widget that I have made in Willy Widgets. If you'd like to take advantage of it, you can download Willy Widgets on the App Store. The next thing has to do with Apple Music. So if I were to go into Apple Music right here, you're first going to see this brand new splash screen right here. It says more to favorite, says suggested songs and playlists and playlist covers. So you have quite a bit of new things right here in Apple Music. And then you can enable notifications as well. So the first thing is, if I were to go into one of my playlists right here, Let's go into Will Songs, September 2021. If I were to go down right here, you're gonna see this new song suggestions thing. So you're able to add some suggestions from songs. So if I were to press this refresh button, it will t take a little bit, but you're gonna see some brand new stuff to add to your playlist. And just doing that, you get more stuff to add to your playlist, which is a pretty cool thing. The next thing is, if I were to go into a another playlist right here, go up to here and then click on edit. You're now able to have some new backgrounds right here. So they're pretty cool right here. You can choose whichever one you want. This is kind of like the iPhone 13 one right here, but it is pr still pretty cool that you can now choose ones. And they're not just gray like this. It just depends on the first song of your playlist. For example, if I were to move this up right here, moving on, you're gonna see that the color changes right away. Just add a song to the top of your playlist and we'll change it based on whatever color that song is which is a pretty cool feature of iOS 17.1. And then we got a couple of other enhancements in here. So if I were to click on add to playlist, you're able to just add to your playlist. It's a lot more compact now. It looks a lot nicer here. And we actually have a brand new favorites thing. You're actually able to press this sort button up here and then you're able to sort your stuff as favorites. So this does your favorite playlist. And then if I were to go into songs right here, you're gonna see all of my favorited songs. So there it is right there. This is only in your library. So if I were to add a bunch of songs that were in my library, I did have quite a bit, 
they would show up right here, but they are not added to my library. And the music player has a favorite button right here. So I did check what was here before, nothing was here before. So you can just immediately favorite or unfavorite, and you do get this nice little animation right here in this live activity. So the next new feature in iOS 17.1 has to do with your lock screen. If I were to add a brand new photo shuffle right here, you could actually sort by album. So there are my favorites right there. You could just choose whatever you want right here. It is pretty cool that you can choose whatever you want now, but you can still select your photos manually, but this will make things a lot easier. And as far as I know, you can add infinite photos to your album, which means you can add infinite photos to whatever you want. So that's a pretty cool feature of iOS 17.1. And if you had many issues inside of iOS 17, those should now be resolved inside of 17.1, just in case you had any. Let's talk a little bit briefly about 17.2, because that is expected to be a big update. It's not gonna add small features, it's gonna add pretty big ones. So the first things that we're expected to get is collaborative playlists inside of Apple Music. And then the next thing we're expected to get is the journal app. So two pretty big features inside of 17.2 that we are expecting. So hopefully we get those in the next betas. And yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. And please be sure to download my app, Willy Widgets, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.